Hello, you're welcome to this tutorial. The last one, we install the layer slider. Now, let's see how to edit this layer slider. So, go back to our dashboard, come to layer slider, say all sliders, and here is the layer slider. Click on it to open. If you take a look at this slider, we have one here and the second one making it two slides. So if you come back to our layer slider here, we have the slide one and the slide two. As you can see, this one is a slide one, while slide two is this one. So how can we quickly edit this? First thing, to edit the background, you have to click on this to change. Let's start from slide 1 first. This is slide 1. So to change this slide, this background, you click on this. Okay. This is the same background. Now I have to check something here, the dimension of this image is 1600 by 600. So the next image you're going to use should be the same dimension. Okay. I want to make use of this image, so I open it with paint. It. Here is the image. So I'm going to resize this image. Uncheck this button. And here I'm going to input 1600 by 600. And I say OK. Now, this is what we have as the dimension of this image. So, I'm going to save this now. It's a JPEG. I replace. Okay. So, now I want to upload that image. And here is it. To further cross check, I just have to check on properties to make sure I have the right dimension, which is 1600 by 600. So we are good to go. So I click on this and say open. And the image is uploaded here. The dimension is the same as well. So I say insert. I have to uncheck this. And check this I just uploaded and say insert. So here is the image, and this is the image on the background. So, what else can I do here? I wish to quickly change this stuff here. You can actually customize it, this to your taste. For instance, you want to change this text, I'll click on the text like this and I'll come back here and insert my text like Welcome to my site. Anything at all you want to use and you go to the next one, you change this text anything you want to now come here if I don't need 
any of this I simply put it off here and it goes if I don't need this I put it off here and if I don't need this I shall put it off here if I don't need this I put it off and I put it off so I can just put on the ones I need okay so for these buttons they are expected to link to a page in your site so to link to another page you have to click on transition sorry link an attribute then replace this text with your link anywhere you want this button to link to you replace put the link here the same thing for this one you put the link here and at the end of the day you say save and uh, you can decide to preview what you just done so this is a very quick way of editing and when you're done with slide one you can head over to slide two come here click on slide two if you feel like changing this background just click on this place and follow the same process then if you want to change this image you click on the particular image it's selected here Click on content. Here you can change this image. For example, I click on this. If I wanted to replace that image with this, I say insert and the image will be replaced. But kindly know that you are required to use a PNG image here. When you use a PNG image, the background will no longer be visible. So take note of that. So that is how you basically change any image here. Click on it. You click on the image, choose another image, and you say insert, and it changes. Now for the text, the same thing we've done before. Now here is supposed to be a link. Click on it. Then to direct this button to a particular web link or website or any page, click on this and insert. The link here and that is how you basically at the end of the day come here and say save so let's go back to this side now I'm gonna refresh this page or reload and see what we got here okay that is it and the second slide going back to our back end sometimes it's possible to install this slider and you don't get to see it on your home page this is what you need to do under the slider you go down here and you copy this code copy it then you go back to your pages and it's on a new tab I'm just trying to demonstrate what you need to do when you don't see your layer slider on your home page you locate your home page here so what I'll do is just locate home this is my home and edit And come down here on this select page slider drop it down and I say layer slider and I paste that code I got you can see that the code is already here that's why the layer slider is appearing on our home page but if I decide to paste what I have here this you can see that basically the same thing so I remove this and I close this because everything is in order. Okay, 
So this will end this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a nice day.